What's up guys? Uh, happy Good Friday, long weekend, nice day out. So I figured I'd do a video and uh, I'm actually vlogging on the GoPro Hero 10. Let's see how this thing does. Cause I uh, just did a time lapse and uh, worked out pretty well. Also, how's the audio? I don't know, the, the, audio, might, the audio might be totally garbage. So uh, we'll see, it's also windy. So we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of stores open on Good Friday. Like I think half of Lakeshore, the stores are open, which I guess is good because there's a lot of traffic, which makes it a lot easier to do a time lapse. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great long week. I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this thing, if I upload, because again, the audio might be totally garbage. But I just wanted to see how it is like to vlog on a GoPro Hero 10. Cause it just goes to show you, you don't need a lot of gear just to like make videos. I mean, this Hero 10, I think was about five or 600 bucks. And then I realized that you can't, like I realized that there's no mic on the Hero 10. So I needed to get this media mod thing, which is another hundred bucks. So it's like 600 bucks. And you can uh, you can do some vlogs on this GoPro Hero 10. And uh, I don't know, it's just, just a different look for the channel. And uh, yeah, why not? I realized the other day that in the month of March, I only uploaded one video, one video. And you know, that's not exactly great for me just because I, I try to do a video every week. So I think that's, that's honestly the first time that I've only done one video in one month in like the whatever 5,000 years I've been doing this. And uh, I didn't feel good about it. So I'm trying to get back on track with just making videos. And if you watch my last video, you know that it's for myself first. I can see the advantage of vlogging on a GoPro. It's not as noticeable as like kind of vlogging on an actual camera. It's smaller in size. So I can see it kind of being slightly easier to do oh, yeah. in public because uh, you don't attract as much attention. You still do, but not as much like these people over here. So you'll also notice that I'm back wearing my winter jacket. And if you live in the Toronto area, you know that in Toronto, we have several false starts for spring, but I believe next week it's going to be 20 degrees. So I think we've officially turned the corner after this weekend, because this weekend is going to be a little bit chilly. But starting next week, 20 degrees, sunny. It's a total game changer. This person's already into it. I can't wait. So one of my pet peeves with this GoPro Midi Mod is that to change the battery, you have to take the GoPro out of the Midi Mod case and put it back in. And uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but my battery's dying, so I have no choice. So you have to take out the GoPro from the case and like the door to the, like the door to the Media Mod is so like tight. I have to use a dime to kind of like open up the door. It's a long story. It's a lot of work just to change the batteries. So I wish GoPro would fix that. I'm not a gear person, but that's one thing I like them to change because, you know, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, we are back in business. Full battery charge. So this should last about 10 minutes. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a part of Oakville along the lake that I've never been to. I was with my buddy Samuel the other day. And Look who showed up. If you guys remember up? What's up? Samuel, What's up? aka Stamina. He's I'm along here for the ride today. He's supporting doing some, the main. He's doing some Morning photography. Fall. Yes, sir. This guy's fresh back from Miami. You look good, man. You look rested. <laughs> he actually showed this spot to me that I don't think anybody really knows about unless you live here. So I'm going to show you that part because uh, it's just different. And it's different on a GoPro. So let's do it. A shout out to the green Jeep. Love that. It feels good to be outside again. Like spring is definitely here. People are biking, jogging, walking their dog. It's just a real good change of energy, like a rebirth. Re rejuvenation, all that, all that, all that stuff is, it's finally here. We're not just waiting for it, which is great. And uh, if you haven't been on Lakeshore and Oakville, some of these homes are pretty insane. Like that house is pretty cool. It's like the bat cave or something. It's pretty interesting though. Jogger alert. Oh, I think, th I think this is the street coming up. Yeah, here it is. Here. I'm my dream home right here at the corner. This house is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely insane that's how it should be in a tv show like it might have been because it's absolutely crazy i don't know if you guys can see it from here but let's get closer like look at this house look at that house absolutely crazy I just want to know what people do for a living because some of these homes are absolutely outrageous. Uh, I was watching a show on Netflix the other day called uh, Amazing Interiors and the homes are kind of normal on the outside but on the inside it's it's absolutely crazy. You should go check out that show because you see some pretty cool homes. 
it just goes to show you how much pride people take in their home, right? It's not just a house, it's a home. And uh, yeah, I recommend that show. It's some very, very creative, artistic people. But yeah, like what do these people do, do for a living? Probably not on YouTube, that's for sure. Okay guys, we're at the, we're at the secret spot. Now, I didn't give you the street name, but I'll give you the park. You can look it up on Google, Google Maps. Such a made up name, Raymer Park. Raymer Park, come on, it's made up. But yeah, like no one's here, so it's really, really, I mean, especially when it's a really nice day out, you come here and chillax, or it's quiet, no one's around to bother you. It's actually quite nice. Anyway, here it is. The lighthouse is just down there. Really calm lake. When I was here at Samuel the other night, it was the, the lake was really choppy, but not today. It's, it's pretty calm, which is good. But look at this. There's a home under construction here. But look at this. I've never... I've never been here. Look at this. Crazy. Crazy. I didn't, never knew about this place. Wow. Absolutely spectacular. It just goes to show you that you can always discover something new even in your own hometown. So uh, you just gotta look out for stuff. Uh, you don't need to travel to experience new things. You just gotta, just gotta be open-minded. I don't know, should I find my drone? Probably. It's going to be called because we have uh, the Alley of Wisdom. I'm going to call this Alley the Alley of Wisdom because I always try to make really important points in this alley and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't but hey I'll give it a shot. The Pier of Knowledge. In the last video I did I uh, coined the alley up on Lakeshore the Alley of Wisdom. I think I'm going to call this pier the Pier of Knowledge. Welcome to the Pier of Knowledge. It actually kind of works. This is going to be the, I need a name for this spot. The Balcony of Dreams. How about that? The Balcony of Dreams. You're welcome. I learned something the other day is that uh, the definition of failure is not trying. So as long as you're trying, you can't fail. Words of wisdom. I think that's a good way to end it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you took away something from it. If not, I'll try better next time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.